So my research looks at how hunter-fisher-gatherer societies, so how coastal communities interacted with their environments over long periods of time, so over thousands of years, by looking at a combination of human activity um, through artifactual remains that are left behind, but also by looking at um, changes in the paleoclimate by studying those trends as well. I have always been fascinated by the archaeology of British Columbia, I think because it's so deep. Um, the sites themselves can be four or five meters deep, and having a place that's occupied for thousands of years that's so deep that when you're standing inside it, you're really immersed inside millennial scale history. Uh, to me, that was a, a fascinating puzzle that I wanted to solve. So really my interest in archeology span started with, with British Columbia, but now it's moved more into understanding how archeologists can use shells to inform us about past climates and past people's interactions with their environment. So even though I'm, I'm rooted in archaeology, I connect with engineering, biology, chemistry, biochemistry, um, and earth sciences, but I also work with Aboriginal people in understanding their history. And of course, a, a really central question in my research is the sustainability of long-term shellfish harvesting um, on the west coast of Canada, a practice that's been in place for over 10,000 years. So hopefully what I would like to be able to do is start to take a lot of the methods that I've developed and applied in British Columbia and start to be able to apply them to understand some of the histories of shellfish gathering um, on the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador.